welcome back. In this tutorial, I will go over some troubleshooting steps involved in trying to adapt a unified access point to your controller. In my situation, I am logged into my unified controller and I have a manage switch US-24G and I have some items in the production environment. I have two access points, basement AP and main floor AP. However, I have two different networks. One is my lab environment network and the other one is my production network where my family and I access to the internet using just general computers and uh, printers, etc, etc. So my, in my situation, I have a basement AP that is working, but the main flow AP, the other access point is not working right now. In your situation, it could be that you got a brand new access point from Unify, but when you go to your Unify devices, either it doesn't show up here for adaption or it shows up with this red dot saying there's something wrong with it and you can't uh, do any much with it. I know this device is powered on uh, and that's the first thing you need to check in this situation. But however, even with the device powered on, it is not you know, showing up here and it's showing a red dot. And because this is used to be a part of my lab environment network, uh, obviously we need to reset this device. If I go to my uh, devices, uh, sorry, the clients uh, on from the left hand side, you'll see it is not even listed here. And you will also notice on here that my lab environment have a subnet of 192.168.0 uh, and then here the you know the subnet is different on my general network it's 192.168.1 uh, network right so definitely we need to reset this device so for in your situation it could be that the ap is not showing up on the unified devices uh, and maybe showing up on here. If it is showing up here, you can skip to the next part of this uh, uh, video. But if it is not showing up here and it is not showing up uh, on the unified list, the first thing we need to do in th this situation is to reset your access point or whatever the unified device that you are trying to adapt. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and do that and it can be done from the pinhole uh, reset button on the back of your unified device uh, so i'll be right back a few minutes later once you have reset your unify ap or device using the physical reset button on the device itself you should see a indicator that it has been reset for aps it is basically a white light like a just glowing white light uh, that means basically it is ready for adaption now if you have already adapted this device to your uh, unify controller for other networks like i did here with my home lab you need to make sure to go to your unify devices first select that device uh, where you need to uh, get rid of and then uh, under uh, under the device go to manage and under manage you should select forget device and it'll give you a warning saying do you want to forget the main flow ap i'll confirm it and it'll disappear from your list now you can go back to your device and make sure it is ready for adaption and the next thing what we're going to do we will go back into the clients section and look if the device is showing up so in my situation, um, it looks like the device is not showing up. Uh, let's see, so we have brother, internet up like my book, so on, so on. So if you end up with this situation, I expect this might happen. What you need to do is you need to go back to your unified device and reboot the device. Even though it has been already uh, reset, it's good to do a reboot until it shows up in here under the clients. So in here, it actually this shows up already. Uh, so right here, it says uh, unif uh, uh, the, the, uh, the manufacturer, the Unify company. So we, I know this is the only one that currently uh, that has been resetted and it has the IP address of 192.168.1.186. So again, if you don't see your device here after you forget it, 
you should see it under clients. But if you don't see it under the clients, please go back to your device and reboot it. And if the reboot didn't work, again, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go back onto the device and press on that reset button physically until it resets and you see a glowing white light. So in my situation, the reset worked and I went upstairs and basically reboot, re power cycle the device and it shows up on clients. But unfortunately, under unified devices, it's not showing up. It's not showing up here. Uh, it uh, will not show up on my uh, topology either. It's only showing up as a client. This is basically a problem, uh, a, a technical problem that we need to resolve. Uh, this sometimes happened because the device has been previously adapted and deleted, or it could happen because you are using a unified managed switch. And sometimes the managed switches are not as intelligent as, uh, uh, let's say the unified dream machine. Uh, should be okay, but sometimes it doesn't work. Dream machine typically pick it up. Uh, so what we need to do now is we need to go to the clients and we know this is the device uh, and we know uh, their IP address. So currently the IP address is 192.168.1.186. a Get this thing to show up under Unify devices. We need to SSH into the Unified AP showing up here. So which is 192.168.1.186. You need to download something like Putty. Uh, I will leave links in the description of this video to download it as well, or you can simply Google search it. It's a free software and open the Putty application. So I have P-U-T-T-Y, that's how you spell it, Putty. Uh, and then I'm gonna enter this IP address to get ac SSS access to this device. So it's gonna be 192.168.1.186. Just make sure that you're opening Putty in the same local area network, LAN, as the unified device that we are trying to show up uh, on the unified devices list. Again, we, the only reason we are doing this because this unified device is not showing up on the list of items that we can adapt here under the unified devices. So that's why we are doing this. So we basically open party and we enter its IP address 192.168.1.186 and we know it's a unified device because of right here it says the manufacturer. So once you enter that, leave it the port as uh, 22 and click open and it'll give you a warning uh, and you're gonna say accept and you'll say logging as. Now in here uh, for the logging, uh, what we will enter uh, is the, uh, the logging as uh, UBNT. So UBNT and press enter, pass U, but UBNT, enter and it'll go in, uh, into the console. So again, the u logging uh, username is UBNT, password is UBNT. On here, we're gonna type M -A -M -C -A dot C -L -I, MCA dot CLI, and click enter. And that will get you to uh, this console, Unify FI. Now, next thing you need to type is a set-inform and the IP address of the controller and then port 8080 slash inform. Uh, so it has to be HTTP as well. So right now I'm gonna type that. Unfortunately, it's not gonna show up on the screen. Uh, so I will just type it. So I'm gonna so set-inform space HTTP colon slash slash and the, my uh, controller IP address is 192.168.1.172 colon 8080 slash inform and then press enter. So once you press enter, it'll show up here. So what I typed here, which is this set dash inform um, HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.172.80, sorry, colon 8080. Why is that? Because of that's my IP address for the controller and slash inform. And then you'll get a message saying adaption request sent to that device and use the controller to check it. Now, if you go back in here, go to Unified Devices, there you go. 
it is showing up right here 192.168.1.186 and that's the uh, that's the unified device that we are trying to adapt now you can go through the adaption process you can cross uh, close the party uh, just like uh, a normal adaption process of uh, any unified devices you select the device and you click adapt and then uh, it will go ahead and do the adaption process and then you can do the configurations options and etc etc after the adaption has been completed and you'll see a blue light here and eventually it will turn to green light and that's pretty much it so that's how you can troubleshoot your unify ap or unify device not showing up on your um, unify devices list on your controller if you have any questions regarding what I covered today, feel free to reach out to me and until next time, bye.